Hello and welcome to the 27th tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to look at the go to statement. The go to statement allows you to jump to anywhere in the application's code. It is an extremely powerful feature but should not be used if it should be only used sorry, if necessary as misuse can cause application errors. Uh, preferably use it within the same block of code as shown in the example that we are going to implement. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. You can do, if you're on Windows, you can open a Visual Studio or just the text editor, and what, what, however you feel comfortable. So let's just bump this down a notch. And what we're going to do, let's get rid of this a second. Create a variable called i. Let's assign it the value 10. And what we're going to put is go to statement. And did, this isn't how you put a go to statement and declare you don't have to put this particular keyword the you just put a keyword that doesn't exist in well uh, C++ and then you put a colon at the end that's it and now this is a statement that you can go to you could call this Hulu Netflix statement actually yeah we'll call it Hulu Netflix statement so Hulu Netflix statement you're going to do stdcl do I um, I'm going to do comma space semicolon and do I minus minus then we're going to do a condition and do if I is greater than zero then we want to jump to the Hulu Netflix statement and the keyword for go to is literally go to then you put the label aka Hulu Netflix statement, so you do Hulu Netflix uh, statement, semicolon, and at the end we're just going to put a std, and we're going to put c out, we're going to put forward slash n, so this is on a new line, put finished, Probably all in uppercase actually, just to emphasize that it has finished FTD and line. Now, if we run it, we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I feel like saying launch, but yeah, it says finished. And what we've essentially done is sort of created a loop. Obviously, you don't have to you know, create a loop, but this is just to illustrate how it works. So we have a variable called i they declare 10 then we put our label here this is what it is a go to label let's print out the variable then we decrement the variable then it checks is the variable greater than zero if so you'll just keep jumping back to the hulu netflix statement so sort of like a loop and that is literally it that is how you use the go to statement it's like really really simple as you can see right there in the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at the switch statement. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. Whatever you feel comfortable with is a okay. All the recording for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.